Okay, hi, I'm back. <laughs> All right, so go. So instead of me just talking about her, you you can hear us talk to each other. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Well, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was even more fun the way the other one started. It was like I I have a friend here, and um, she didn't realize I had gone live, and so some funny things were being said live. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Real life, people. Real life. <laughs> yeah, it was real. It was actually real funny. So I'm kind of glad we had to start over because people watching might. Have, <laughs> <it would've> been... <laughs> so anyway, I was just trying to introduce you. I was just saying how that um, we are in a group together, and I'm really fortunate to get to talk to you. And how we were talking the other day about how. Um, we use different types of energetics in our our practice and what that means and how we just wanted to kind of come on and talk about it because a lot of people have questions about that. But I'd love for you to just kind of introduce yourself to everyone. Sure. Um, so I'm Dr. Selvi Vasudevan, um, a medical doctor turned health coach um, and was diagnosed with Crohn's disease 25 years ago. And my journey took me way outside the world of Western medicine until I realized that it took so much um, more than what my doctors or my training could offer me. And so it started with holistic medicine and it's moved and evolved so much over the years. Um, and more recently I've entered this world of energetics and energetic medicine and um, energetic healing and trauma and just all of these layers. I'm sure you found that healing is just so multi-layered. And so I'm so excited to be here to have this conversation with you about all things gut and energy and, and healing and all the things. So. Yes, yeah, for sure. And I'm really excited for you um, to tell us kind of about the chakras. I know that another colleague of ours, you went into their group and mm -hmm. talked about the chakras and how that relates to healing. So maybe you could share a little bit of that and we can start there. Sure. Um, so the chakras are basically energy centers right throughout the body um, that run from the base of your spine all the way up to above the crown of your head. Um, and when energy is flowing normally, um, it should be flowing freely throughout your body. Now, most of us through life, the school of hard knocks, sickness, uh, relationship troubles, like you name it, life in general um, challenges us, there are blocks. So what that means is, you know, you have an argument with your partner um, and you don't really get over it. Like you think you've moved past it, but emotionally, energetically, you really haven't. And that's stored somewhere in one of those energy centers or multiple. Um, or something happens to you as a child, your parent yells at you, and you're not able to process that, that gets stored inside. Mm -hmm. So over time, and a lot of these things we don't even remember, there are multiple blocks throughout, especially in the lower energy centers, right? Those are more of the foundation. So we're talking about the root, which is your source of safety, grounding, belonging, um, all of that sort of stuff, and everything starts there. Um, and so majority of people that I talk with have blocks in those lower energy centers because those are more related to um, more tangible things, more related to the earth, if you will, to, um, to things that you can actually conceive of, whereas the higher energy centers are more conceptual, spiritual, that kind of stuff. And it starts with healing those lower energy centers to allow the flow then to move upwards to access more of that spiritual um, ability, access, healing, that sort of thing is typically how it goes. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of, um, you know, when I talk about like safety in the body and, and feeling comfortable and belonging and that sort of thing, like that's just the foundation of everything. So, yeah, um, yeah, well, yeah, I totally agree. And that's something I spend a lot of time talking about too, but in a different way, but, you know, mm -hmm. hitting on how, 
Um, we, a lot of times when we're children and we don't really understand how to process things emotionally, it gets lodged into the physical. And one of the things that I like to do is try to take people back and like really figure that out. Like, you know, we, we, we both are all, it's all about the gut baby, right? Like oh, <laughs> everything's totally. all about the gut, but, but, and I shouldn't say, but it should be more. And there's also these unexplained pains that are not necessarily there and having to kind of look deeper and go deeper like I do that with the yoga nidra kind of go into the subconscious of what are those hidden blocks those hidden triggers that we need to unleash and unlock and let go of to really fully embrace embodied healing on different levels and um, another thing that you said when you get blocks in different areas like I think a lot of times especially as women we do get a lot of blocks around the throat right and speaking your truth absolutely yeah, like that's, yeah. that's huge, you know. That's huge. And also in the pelvis, I found too. So like the sacral chakra, creative yeah. expression, your passion, your purpose, all of that sort of stuff. Women, and those two are actually related to each other, interestingly. And so um, as women, how many times typically is the conditioning like, you know, don't speak your truth or it's not okay to be the full expression of yourself or all of this sort of stuff. Right. So then that creates those blocks. And then it's, you know, how do we move through that? How do we bring the beautiful expression, the fullest expression of you that is unique, that is your signature, that is who you are out into the world. Yeah. So tell, tell me more a little bit about how those two are connected. Like talk about that. Yeah. Um, so the sacral chakra, like I said, comes to passion, creativity, um, sexual expression, sensuality, all of these sort of things that, again, the conditioning is just, it's its wild around all of that, right? The messages that this is not okay, or that's not okay, or the other thing is not okay, or life needs to be busy, and we should be doing all of these things as opposed to what's coming from the deepest essence of who you are, right? So left to me, one of my passions is dancing. And mm -hmm. when that fell out of my life for years on end, it felt like part of me was literally dead because it was, right? Um, and so how that relates to your throat and speaking your truth and being authentic to who you truly are is that creative inspiration, that burst of passion, that what have you, like from deep inside of you, whether it's artistic, whether it's dance, whether it's, you know, writing, whether it's, you know, however that wants to be expressed, um, is coming through and you're like, eh, no, I'm not going to do that. No, not now, maybe later, right? As opposed to the throat is how it comes out into the world. How does that want to be expressed, right? Does it want to be expressed in written, spoken? Um, you know, how is the, does that want to be shared? And when that pathway is open, you have this birth of ideas, literally, um, that is able to be expressed out through your throat into the world. Um, and it's just a beautiful synergy of energy. Oh, I love that. That is... That's so amazing and true and just put in a different way than I've thought about that, you know, like that's mm. beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. That was a great question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and just, you know, within, within gut health as well, and I'm sure you've experienced this, but definitely notice that I, I mean, I'm going to be bold and say, oh, I mean, a hundred percent of people that have, hold on a second. My cat is like trying to take this picture off the wall. <laughs> like something's happening in the background there for sure. Can you hear it? <laughs> she's like trying to tell me she's hungry. So she's like, I'm going to slam the picture. She, okay. So and she only does this when I'm, you know, doing a live or something. Of course. So, of course. <laughs> so anyway, she wants to too. of people, um, she's like, I want energy too. Pay attention to me. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, 100% of people, and, and I think we mentioned this when we were talking just privately, but like, you know, we all have uh, trauma on, on some level because what's traumatic to one person is a different traumatic, you know, experience to somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. So we all experience things in different ways. And so I, when I say this word, I don't mean it. I don't you know, want somebody to be like, I've never had trauma. It's like, it could be a micro expression of something. Yeah. Right. But anyway, a hundred percent of people um, that I'm sure you've, you've noticed this, but definitely that come to me and I am my clients, right? Like I am, I do what I do because I went through this. So I had this too, but like serious um, lodged, like emotional, physical issues that turned into a gut related um, issue. Right. So I'd love to say, 
oh yeah, I had a horrible integrity of my gut that turned into an autoimmune disease just because I was maybe, um, I grew up vegetarian and I didn't supplement correctly because I didn't know any better. But that's only one piece of a huge puzzle. The rest of the puzzle is, my gut integrity was leaky because my boundaries were leaky because energetically yes. was leaky, my mindset yes. was leaky, all yes. of that, right? It's like, yes. it's like that's all combined. And so that's why it's so important. And I love talking to you and that you're also, you know, healing in this realm because it's not just about healing and sealing the gut. That is huge, but it's also about healing and sealing. Where are we leaky, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what I say is like, you know, it starts foundationally internally because our internal world is a reflection of our external world and vice versa. Like without that foundation there, nothing else is going to happen. But that alone, it's not enough. It's absolutely not enough. Yeah. Um, and I love the way that you um, made that analogy, which is absolutely true. Like what else is leaky? Like what else is going on? Right. So if your gut's inflamed, like what else is inflamed in your life? Like what isn't serving you? Right. There's so many pieces to that. And energetically, like that's a whole nother layer um, that needs to be addressed to really heal. Like it's one thing, again, if you want like a band aid or if you want to just get to a certain point, but then if all you do is address the physical, you're going to plateau. And then what happens, right? And you're still not going to be happy. You're still not going to be where you want to be because these other layers haven't been addressed yet, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what I found is the path for myself and for my clients as well to to really start to not just heal, but then feel freedom, independence, like liberation, you know? Yeah. That freedom. Like I just did a post today about that or been doing a lot about how it's so hard to explain to people how good it feels when you are finally um, in control, you know, of your body. Like when you finally make, when you choose to make the choice because you know it's what's right for you and how it feels when you don't do that. And mm -hmm. that could be co food confidence, voice, you know, speaking your truth, but body confidence, whatever it is. But like it's starting when that foundational, like that food confidence, when you really know what's good for you and what's mm -hmm. not, not just assuming, oh, that's healthy. That's not healthy. It's more like, I know that when I eat those things, this is what's going to happen. And I'm choosing not to, because it's not worth it. Like that feels so good. It's it so really, really good. like that. Yeah, no, it's, it's very true because, you know, again, like, our mind wants to keep us in the familiar, right? Wants to keep us in that place that like we know this this whole area of of illness, of pain, of you know, like the doctor's visits or the, you know, fill in the blank, basically. Like it's familiar. Not that we necessarily want to stay there, but we know that, as opposed to when you decide to go on your healing journey and there's all of this unknown that's gonna come up, it's like, oh shoot, what's gonna happen? Uh, at least we know this area I and mean, staying over here, right? Like that's the pull. And unfortunately, oftentimes like the decision comes from a place of, I can't take this anymore. And it doesn't have to be that way. Like you said, like when you're in that place of just like knowing what works and what doesn't work. Like when I talk to clients and they're like, like men, right. Who are like, I don't have any intuition. What are you talking about? So like, I took a bite and I was like, I just knew that wasn't going to serve me. And I'm like, do you realize what you just said? <laughs> that was your intuition at work right there right exactly right and how empowering that is to be like yeah I just I know I know yeah yeah, yeah. and backing it up because I kind of went off on a tangent but backing it up too it's like you mentioned you know it's yes once you, the foundation that's what we we're talking about like yes the foundation you fix you know kind of work on fixing the gut and really you know using that outward to hit hit all the layers but that's why a lot of times it doesn't work. Like when you work with somebody and, and I don't want to say that it doesn't always work, but this is a, what we're doing and talking about right now is a whole nother level. And it really, really, really works because you can't just stop there. Like you said, you can't just stop there and like, okay, now I know what to eat and I healed and sealed my gut and I'm not having those particular symptoms. You still didn't get to the root. Like that's kind of all about like functional. Like I work in the functional realm and, and you're a doctor, you know, it's like you have to keep going and understand the true triggers. What are the, and they may have, may have started in the gut. They may not have started in the gut. Most likely not. <laughs> most likely just, not. Yeah. So it's like, if you just focus and zone in there, you're, something's going to come back, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because anytime there is a symptom, there is a diagnosis, there is a whatever, it's a sign of some sort of imbalance in your being, not just in your physical body, right? So what is underneath that? And exactly that. I'm passionate about the root too. Like 
oftentimes, like there was, I, I always go back to what happened at that time when you were diagnosed or when you were really, really sick, what was going on? Because there's always so much to unpack there, right? What was being stored from that time in your body that's still inside that hasn't been addressed, right? Um, and so, yeah, there is so much that is deeper. And if that is being ignored, then we're bypassing. And then we're just putting a different kind of bandaid on really, mm -hmm. you know, which you and I are not about at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. And the, that, you know what's so powerful with that is it's and we know this but i want if one thing you could take from this anybody watching is like really we are in the business of understanding and managing and preventing stress on whether it's internal external and i loved how you said that it's like okay let's go deeper and see what was the stressful trigger what was going on with you at that time whether you thought it was or you recognized that it was something stressful something stressful was happening and it caused this cascade of effects, right? And exactly. you have to identify that to be able to work on, you know, going backwards instead of just that band-aid. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Or else it's like, you know, I'll have clients who are like, they're, they feel like they're on the hamster wheel and I was there too, but going really, really fast, but going nowhere mm -hmm. because what's underneath hasn't been addressed yet. And then it's just, once that starts to unravel, it's just like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You know, and then that's where the power comes in because it's like, okay, now it's now I see it. It's like the monster under the bed, right? Once you see it, it loses its power, and it was like a stuffed animal or something. Same kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's true, actually. And that, you know, what that actually brings up something that I just kind of, I mean, I, I probably made this connection, but I don't. I think I pushed it away again. And one of those things that when I was a kid, I had like horrible nightmares and um, night terrors. And I really think, and I also had a lot of gut issues, like ever since I was little, it was like, I could never, I mean, I, I never went to the bathroom and I was definitely had food sensitivities, had no idea, you know? And like, I think that that was definitely translating into these night terrors because it was all of these physical um, and probably emotional like traumas that I didn't know how to deal with. And so I went, I just never really put that, I think full fledged together that that was probably my emotional state acting out, you know, in the subconscious mm -hmm. um, because then every time, like even I, I don't really have them anymore, but like growing up, like as whenever something stressful would happen in my life, I would revert back to these night terrors. And I, that's really mm -hmm. interesting. That is really interesting. And I feel like, again, like everything has like some sort of an energetic component to it. Absolutely. You know, um, and so that's why, you know, like, I know you're passionate about this too, but I'm also like, we can't ignore any piece, mind, body, spirit, emotions, trauma, physical body, like it all needs to be addressed. And, you know, they're all related. So it's like, you can't really have one without the other. Um, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. And I, I know some people are kind of like, what is energetic? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> and it's really just the study or the flow of energy and transformation and how that kind of, you know, works inside of us. I mean, we are, like you said, we're not just a physical, I mean, we have, we have body, soul, energy, mind, I mean, brain, they're all different and they all work together synergistically and you, the energy piece and, and we're not talking about, even though it is important, like, okay, I have low energy or high energy. It's your vibrational energetic state of how you're showing up in the physical and the mental and then the, you know, your soul's wisdom and how that um, transforms into your physical and mental and, and, you know, actual high or low energy state, if that makes sense, right? That makes perfect sense. Yes. And thank you for clarifying, because there are people I'm sure who would have been a little <laughs> bit confused by that, but that's exactly what it is. And as your vibration starts to increase and you start to heal more and more, it's um, a lower vibration is a heavier energy, right? So you're not able to move forward as easily. So if you're like, there are things in my life that I wish were different, you know, I wish I had a different job or that I could move or I feel stuck. I hear this one all the time. I feel stuck. Mm -hmm. That comes from a heavy vibrational state. That comes from a lot of, like, if you have a lot of digestive issues and you can't digest things that are happening in your life, metaphorically, right. that will keep you stuck. As your energy starts to elevate your vibration starts to elevate you become lighter energetically and that allows you to move through the world in a very different way 
and be more willing to show up and take the risks and do the things because you're not being held back by fear, by anxiety, by um, overwhelm, by all of the things because you've, you've healed a lot of that already. That is, I love the way you put that. And I, yeah, I always talk about like, you have to um, eliminate (laughs) both mentally and physically (laughs) <laughs> right? You have to get rid of the toxins. You have to get rid of the toxic people, energy, by you know, environment also. So eliminate waste on both from both ends. <laughs> yeah, you know, literally. <laughs> <laughs> but I never thought about it that way. Too. Like what you just said was really, I'm just trying to like, take it in and, and put it out how I want to say, um, I'm, I'm, so I'm also seeing this uh, energetic coach which I'm really excited about and one that's one of the things that she said to me is that <clears throat> for over a year we you know kind of worked on raising that um, vibrational state <clears throat> and I, I didn't really make that so that was a beautiful connection because I didn't make that connection of how it goes into the digestion like even though I talk about elimination you know toxic mental physical but like I never made the vibrational state into a digestion so that was a really good analogy like oh, yeah. you hold yourself back because you're not open and you're not ready to do the changes maybe that it needs that needs to happen to heal right yeah absolutely absolutely um for sure, for sure. yeah so it's just it's really really interesting you know how this um, the whole world has been opening up more and more, you know, I think for me too, is like, it started the same, I don't know if, about you, but like, it started with healing the physical body. And then once I got to a certain point, it was like, wait a second, there's still more, like, but wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more and more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, I love this conversation. That's really, it's really enlightening. And again, like, that's kind of why I think it's so great to have, to collaborate and have friends in the same space that are helping. We're all doing things similar, but different. And we all have a different perspective. And it's so great to have a toolbox of people, you know, that you feel really good and comfortable and to work with and, um, and then collaborate with too. But like anybody who's watching, it's like, okay, I'm going through X, Y, Z. You know, this is a new way for you to think about it and also find somebody that you feel comfortable with and, and just know like that, like in our community, we all, we like to help each other. It's not like, you know, yeah. we're here to support each other. And I mean, I definitely have colleagues that I go to and I'm like, hey, I have this beautiful client. Like, what are your thoughts? How can we help each other? And I think that's just how it should be. Like, we should all be here to, we're here to serve and help people, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about collaboration. Like, that's what I love so much about our group is, you know, everybody's rooting for everybody else's success. And, you know, we're all just like, how can I help you? Like, how can I be there for you? And we're all in it together, um, which is how it should be. Because, yeah, I mean, you know, like you win, I win. I win, you win. Like, you know, there's no need for competition. Like, it's just, it's unnecessary. You know, we each have a light to shine. And like, you shine your light brighter. Like, I'm cheering you on and vice versa, you know. Well, and the the client wins. And the collective, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. yeah, and that's why I'm just so happy that um, like more people are talking about this. I know in December of last year there was just this big shift, this congruence shift, where I feel like people, especially with everything we went through last year, like that's why I started doing the Goddess Lives, is because I was like, what lessons did we learn in 2020? Because it was a crazy <laughs> year, right? And oh, yeah. one of the lessons was that is like, how can we come together? You know, like enough of this just you do you, I do me. It's more like, how can we come together and what gifts can we all share and Mm -hmm. illuminate? And this is a big part of it is that there's now this new shift of we need, we need to look at healing differently. Like something's got to change because what we're doing now is not working. It's Mm -hmm. just not, I mean, not what we're doing because what we're doing is working, (laughs) but, but, but I mean the collective, like, the yeah. healthcare system in general. And I'm assuming that's kind of why you chose to branch out, right? Totally, totally. Because I wasn't getting the answers that I needed, right? It was just try this medication or that medication or this side effect. Or um, back in the day, like when I was in in a really bad place, it was, well, diet doesn't really play a role. 
or you know trial and I know which I'm just like wait what like look wait, at what <laughs> or you know just trial and error and kind of try and figure it out or low residue at that time because um, you don't want to be in pain so you know don't eat fruits and vegetables but instead eat white bread white pasta, white rice, and, you know, maybe some roasted or boiled chicken. And that was pretty much it. I went through like two years where I didn't eat a vegetable because I was so terrified. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, no wonder, like my whole microbiome was messed up. Like I wasn't doing myself any favors. And there is a way to get those fruits and vegetables and, you know, foods that are going to help you and in, increase the diversity of your microbiome, your gut health, um, without causing pain. And that was something I kind of needed to figure out on my own because I wasn't really able to be guided. But yeah, all of that frustration was just like, I'm not being seen. I'm not being heard. People think that my pain and my symptoms are in my head. This is a problem. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to find someone or something that actually does. And it got to the point where I was like, well, I'll do anything. And that's when I was like, all right, let me branch out. And then I'm like, wait a second, this, there's actual healing that's happening. Like people look at the body as a whole. People yeah. look at like the holistic system. People look at emotions. Emotions have a role. What? Like, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Yeah. And so, yeah, then I was just like, this is where I want to be. I want to actually be helping people. And yeah, you're right that things do need to shift because that system is not working. And who you really are is, is pure healing, is pure wellness, is pure light. And it's just getting you back into that balance where your body is functioning, your mind is functioning, your emotions are functioning, your spirit is functioning the way it's meant to. Mm -hmm. um, and that puts you at a place of not just better health, but joy, vitality, passion, like showing up as you um, and, and unapologetically, like, you know, like just enjoying um, life as we're all meant to. Like, that's why we're here, not to suffer through it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. And newsflash feelings have feelings. <laughs> yes. Yes. They do. I love that. I love yeah. that. Yes. Like that, when I, I first heard that, I was like, that's, that's what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Body. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I totally agree. And I'm so glad that, um, you were able to branch out and learn those things for your own. I just actually posted a video about this yesterday. Like when I went through, I was in a really bad place with my gut for, for my whole life, but then it, I, it got real bad and I could only eat five things and it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't great. <laughs> it was like, like no vegetables. I mean, I still, I still have to be careful, but a lot of people don't get that. And like, I get a lot of, um, I get a lot of, direct messages like, Oh, I found you. And I'm, I'm so excited. I'm a, I'm, I'm going vet, vegan, vegan and vegetarian. And, and I'm like, um, okay. But the first thing is we need to make sure that's what's right for you. <laughs> like it's, it's like getting that it's not healthy unless it's healthy for you at this time. And that can all change. Right. And I think that is a message that needs to get out there so much more mainstream that going eliminating any type of food is not the way to go until we know how your body's responding to that food at this time right absolutely, absolutely. and that does evolve you know when i think back to how i was eating let's say you know 10 years ago is very different than how i ate seven years ago is different than i ate five years ago as opposed to how I eat today, it's changed so much um, over time. And so, yeah, it is the right thing at the right time. Um, and what's right for you? Because we are so individual. We are each at a different place. And again, all of those pieces need to be taken into account before just Googling something and being like, oh, yeah, this sounds really good because it worked. Yeah, I, I'm just like, please don't do that to yourself. <laughs> like, that's a good way to stress yourself and go down a rabbit hole. You don't want to be down. <laughs> yeah, like 100% of the time, just don't. If you're trying to Google something, just don't. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like uh, and like, I don't care. And I'm just, again, being bold with this, but like, I don't care what worked for your friend, okay? Or your sister or your mom or your dad. I don't care. That doesn't mean it works for you. Like, let's stop jumping on these bandwagons. It's not, that's not the way to do it. What you need to do <laughs> if you're really having issues is, talk to someone. I mean, we are, I'm sure like, I love to talk to people. Like I will talk to you. I, you yeah. know, and ask questions that are individualized to what you're going through on mm -hmm. the energetic, mental, physical level. But like Dr. Google is not Dr. Selby and is not the gut goddess. Okay. No, no. <laughs> and what your friend did 
is not necessarily going to work for you. So just, just stop. Like, yeah. thank <laughs> you, you for saying that. Yeah, no, it's so, so true. Um, because, you know, again, there's like, you know, when you're in that place and you're really sick and, and you're struggling and I've been there too, it's just, you can't see what you can't see. And I say that with the utmost love because yeah. you're in that place. Right. And it's the level of the problem and the level of the solution are totally different. Mm -hmm. um, and so when you're in that place where you're just sit sitting in the problem, you can't see the solution, what needs to be done because of where you're at. And that's okay. But finding someone who can see from a higher, from a different perspective, who maybe has come through what you've come through, or at least has the tools to guide you, that is invaluable. Like, that's what I yearned for so much when I was in that place. You know, it's yeah. just like, can oh, somebody get it? Can't somebody guide me? And then they can ask you the questions that maybe you don't even know that need to be asked, right? Or reflect back to you things that you're not able to see that can help to give you clarity, that can help to actually move you forward. Um, and that, I think, is just extremely powerful too yeah. like I've got my people I've got my coaches I've got my my crew that I can lean on as well so I don't want you know people to think like oh yeah she's got it all together but like no no I'm still doing my healing I'm still doing my work right you know it's a daily process and I have my people who can reflect back to me what I can't see so and that's it's invaluable it's powerful yeah so that was very nicely put way more or probably a little sweeter than what I just said <laughs> <laughs> But, oh, good. I yeah. love the realism. I love you being real. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because um, well, I want to say funny. It's interesting because one of my clients, I don't know if she's still on here, but one of my clients was on here and um, I'm, she shared this on Instagram too. So I feel like I can, I can reshare, but there was a moment in the beginning where exactly that, like she, I could tell that it was a very, um, a gut brain connection going on that one of the things that she was experiencing that was definitely very real and in the gut um, was triggered by um, an emotional, uh, you know, experience that was, I could, I could see, she could, she couldn't see that, you know? So just, I was like, okay. So asking her those questions, like, okay, but let's go deeper. Let, let's investigate this a little bit more. And, and, and then she made the connection and it was like that, uh, -huh, you know, like, oh my gosh, this is a mental thing and it's yeah. translating into a gut thing. <laughs> and yeah. I think that was really powerful for her because then she took her control and power back and then was able to change that um, situation so that it kind of ultimately changed that stressful trigger in the gut. And it was, it was beautiful, you know? Yeah. I mean, what a beautiful gift, right? Like that you were able to give her. And that's what it's all about, right? Is empowering you to take your health, your life, your existence, like back into your own hands and be back in the driver's seat and live the way you want to live and not have to you know, be ruled by your gut dysfunction or, you know, like being stuck in life or dissatisfied or any of those kind of things, because it doesn't have to be that way. And that's part of one of the things of when you're not compartmentalizing everything. And like you said, you have a guide or, you know, a coach that can see all the things and that's looking at your health in a holistic way that's looking at you in all of these different layers and putting together all of those pieces of the puzzle and then using your words reflecting it back to you so you can make you know identify these things that's a whole new journey and it's a really important one and i'm just glad that there's more people kind of trying to do that work to help because really it's what's needed you know so that's great absolutely absolutely and i'm i'm guessing you probably resonate with this too you know when you have a client and they make that breakthrough and they're just like, oh, my gosh. And it hits them deep inside. It just, like, my heart swells so much in that moment. And I'm yeah. just like, this is what it's about. This is absolutely what it's about. <laughs> oh, so good. Well, yeah. is there anything? Um, I'm so happy you came on and talked with me. Is there anything else you'd like to share or tell people how to reach out and get in touch with you if you've got anything exciting coming up? Yeah, um, you can absolutely reach out to me, um, DM me anytime, dr.selvi.crohn's.coach. Um, 
anytime I'm here for that. Uh, I will be having a workshop actually on the chakras um, and their relationship to healing coming out in January. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and if anyone wants to talk more about energetics or your gut dysfunction or any of that sort of stuff, I am um, offering free consultations right now um, as well. Um, so happy to have a conversation with anyone who's curious of, you know, like what can possibly be done. There's a lot. There's a lot. So awesome. Yay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on. It was wonderful to talk to you and hopefully we can do it again. Yes, I would love to. Thank you so much for having me. This was a blast. And yeah, we totally could have kept going, but <laughs> thank you so, so much. Yeah. And I want to do your workshop too. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'll get to all the details. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, take care, Jamie. Bye.